Hey guys, welcome back. This is video number six of the Blizz AVS tutorial for beginner. Today we're going to be adding a projectile weapon for the main actor. Uh, specifically, we're going to add a bow and arrow. And so, what I need to do is open up the project that we've been working on. I need to open up the configuration program. I need to go to File, Open, open up your configuration settings. That's the .sbc file. Click Open on that. That way, any changes we make later. Um, will be a cumulative with uh, the changes we made previously. I also need you to open up your Blizz ABS manual and need you to open up a search engine. So into uh, the search engine, we're going to type, we need to get some sprites Blizz ABS Weapons Chaos Project. Uh, the first link here is Weapons Blizz ABS. If you click that, um, here are some templates uh, you can use. On the right side, under Projectile Weapons, you will see uh, an arrow set. Uh, it gives you the basic uh, layout for how the, how the how the arrows should work. If you click right cl uh, right click and uh, save image as. Sorry, I just get my voice back. I've been sick, so I'll bear with me. Uh, click uh, save image as and uh, save it to your uh, folder with the pictures you're using for this project, or if that may be. Next, we're going to grab a weapon. If you go to page six down here, uh, I have uh, some. There's a click on the spoiler, little short bow. Right click on this image and uh, save image as. Um, just save it as short bow for now to uh, your project folder uh, for sprites that you're using in your project where you have that organized. Um, all right. Uh, the next step is we're going to go to the manual and we're going to look at section 3.2 weapons specifically. Sorry about that, section 3.2.9, this is going to cover um, the arrow, is actually an item, and uh, this is how we'll name it, it'd be projectile, uh, projectile underscore item underscore the item number um, that you're going to set up in, in the RMXP program, so <clears throat> let's pull up our RMXP program. Go to, you can click over here if you want, click the database icon, go to items, change maximum to 33, number 33 will be an arrow, hit apply, hit ok, next click the weapons tab. Um, Go to the iron, where's it? At? Iron bow. This is just to save time, and we're gonna name this as short bow. And notice that this is uh, uh, ID number 18, and the other one was ID number 33. I hit apply, hit OK. To next, I want you to go to the folder where you uh, put the two sprays that we just downloaded. Here I did mine earlier, I had the short bow and the arrow. The short bow we are going to rename. So when we rename this image, we're gonna follow the same naming scheme we used earlier. So if you go back to your program and click on uh, materials icon in the characters folder, you'll see it here. It's gonna be 001 fighter01 underscore weapon underscore the number of the weapon, uh, which for us is going to be 33. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry, I misspoke. It's going to be 18. Right. So rename 001 fighter 01 underscore weapon underscore 18. And this. The arrow um, item will follow the naming scheme listed in the manual under 3.2.9 projectile underscore item underscore the item ID uh, which is 
Good. Uh, next step will be to import those. Click on the materials icon, or you can go to tools, uh, materials, we can hit F10. Uh, go to the folder that has the sprites that we just created. Open. Um, you could select them both at once. You could select all of them if you have a bunch of them. Excellent. Alright, the next step I'm going to want you to do is to close your project, close your configuration file, and then reopen your project, reopen your configuration file. Okay, so we're going to open up our uh, configuration program. You're going to go to Files, Open, Open your Config Settings.SBC, hit Open. And uh, that's just going to make sure that all the changes we make uh, throughout the game <clears throat> always stack up on top of each other and uh, we never have to redo any work. I'll go to item number 18 under the weapons tab. That's our short bow. Make sure it says weapon type bow and arrow. Make sure you give it a range of approximately 5 and go down to can consume. Find the arrow in the list, number 33, and add it. There we go. Okay, everything looks good here. Go to Tools, Generate Configuration Script, or you can just click on the tab if you want. Copy to Clipboard, Minimize, go to your script. You can click on the icon over here, you can go to Tools, uh, Script Editor, you can hit F11. Go down to Blizz 1, the first uh, script uh, file that you put in there. Control A, Control V, Apply, OK. And we're going to want to add a character in here that is going to give us items. We can put a chest. I don't really give who, who you use to give you the item, but somebody needs to give you arrows. And uh, here are your arrows, sir. I don't know. Hit OK. Give a confirmation zone and uh, change items. Uh, number 33 and give us 99 arrows. Apply, hit OK. Go back to your database. Go to your actor starting weapon. Go to classes and make sure that he's able to use this weapon. Where is the short bow? I don't want to see it. Go to check on short bow. Go to actors, starting weapon, short bow, all this stuff. Hit apply, hit OK. Um, you don't necessarily need to hit apply with RMXP, but uh, I'm a little OCD with that, so. Well, uh, let's play test, or you can go to game, you can hit play test, or hit F12. Uh, save changes, yes. Let's see if our projectile weapon works. Sorry this uh, tutorial is taking so long. Um, there are definitely other weapon, other ways to set up. Let's talk to him. Here are your arrows, sir. Why, thank you. He has a short bow. Hit escape. Go to hotkeys. You see uh, up here? You're going to go to position 1. I don't care which position you use, hit enter. Go to arrows, hit enter. And because we don't have an icon set, you're not seeing an icon up here. We probably should have set an icon, but you can do that on uh, your own, own time. Since it's position 1, we hit uh, key number 1. And that equips our arrows. You see a 99 here. And, and, um, so that's the very, very, very basic projectile weapon. There's a whole lot more you can do with this, of course. Thanks for watching. Bye.